Hello, and welcome to Five Year Club video number 222. Um, short video. I wanted to discuss something that came up in a few conversations with me in the last week, and that is a common misconception and the bias that leads to that misconception. The misconception is this. Someone will say something like, um, I want to know more about investing so that I can retire someday. And... my usual first response or my first kind of uh, uh, is my first reaction is you know well what about your savings rate are you paying attention to your savings rate um, because the way that this whole system kind of works is that people tend to ask and want to know more about things that they consider that are kind of more beyond their control and so a person thinks that their savings rate is in their control so they have a good handle on that. But the movements of the market are mysterious and much more complicated, and they don't have as much control of that. And so when they're seeking for new knowledge, they're seeking for it in the context of trying to get a handle on this unwieldy um, market, trying to get a handle on where should it they put their money, where should they invest their money. Their Whether they retire or not, though, is actually not a function of their investment returns. It's much more a function of their savings rate because a high enough savings rate can beat uh, in subpar investment returns, especially when you average this stuff out over a long period of time. It's much, uh, it's not very likely if you're investing over a period of 30 or 40 years, the market is going to uh, move so far against you that you're unable to succeed. Um, but we have a bias in general, which is that we think we're going to succeed in the places where we can control everything. And we think the only way we're going to fail is if we fail in the areas where we don't know enough, where we don't have as much control. And the bottom line is that, number one, the savings rate matters more than the investment returns. Straight up. It just matters more. It has a bigger impact overall. The amount of money that you're putting away has a bigger impact. And number two, we fail to execute even the stuff we have control over, even the stuff we know we should be doing, right? We know we need to be eating more salads. We know we need to be exercising more. We know we need to be saving more money, but we don't do it. We just assume that we're going to do it in the future. And, uh, and we don't work to um, reinforce our behavior in the areas where we have the most control. Um, and I just wanted to point that out because I, I think it's a good... Uh, it's a good thing to keep in your mind somewhere when you are thinking through different issues. You gotta ask yourself, am I discounting uh, an area where I have a lot of control? Am I making an assumption, is there an assumption that's inherent in the way that I'm approaching looking at this problem um, where I think I'm just gonna check the box in these areas where I have a lot of control and influence when in fact I have not actually done the prep work necessary to succeed in those areas. I was talking about the uh, the social stuff, I think it was last night, where when you have a conversation, a difficult conversation with someone, there's a lot of emotional prep work you want to do before that conversation um, to make the conversation more successful. That's exactly the type of thing that matters. You have so much, con you have so much influence and control over what you say in these conversations, and yet, unless you set aside time and effort to prepare for the conversation, it's not going to work out the way you want it to. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for video number 222. That is the idea I wanted to get out there. When you think about investment, back up a second, look at the savings rate, you have so much more control, and uh, don't be so sure that you're already doing everything you can to maximize that savings rate, because Statistically speaking, we just know that's not true. All right. Have a fabulous evening.